Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady and today I thought I would pop in and show you the very last two books that I picked up from my charity book haul a couple of weeks ago. Right, so today I am going to be showing you The 50 Crochet Flowers by Claire Crompton and The Fairy Tale Crochet Collection by Rico Designs. So uh, let's get on with this uh, very, very first one here. So I have done a little search online and I cannot actually find uh, this publication. Now, when I read the back cover, in this really small writing here, it actually says, we hope you enjoyed making our crochet flower project. These projects are taken from the 200 crochet flowers book. Okay, now I will put a link to the 2000 flowers book in the description box and down below there is also going to be a link in the description box and down below for claire crompton's ravelry page which will show you a uh, lots of different projects that she has got available and the books in which they come from so each of these patterns will link you through to the book that she has available so fingers crossed you will find something that you like there but let's get back to this one and let's have a nose. So again, this is only 500 out of the 200 that she has available. So it's got a beautiful little introduction section. And as you can see, she shows how you can use these as embellishments for bigger and larger projects. We have the information on basic stitches. Um, these patterns are all done in English terms. Okay. Um, she explains how to follow crochet patterns. And you have your list of abbreviations. And also a chart guide um, for the different stitches that are used in these patterns. Some really beautiful um, images here. Right, so here we go. We have got a six petal daisy, small sunflower, a loop daisy, a ruffle rose. And as you can see, the charts are down the bottom and there is also written text explaining it as well, just in case you don't work, aren't able to work from a chart or from a written pattern. So it is really good that she covers the whole lot. Right, our next page up has an open rose, a small rose, a rosebud and a leaf. Okay, then we have an Irish crochet rose, large simple flower. I've made these before. There's a puff stitch flower, um, star flower pansy. On our next page, we have a dahlia, a four layer flower, a trumpet flower, and a frilly rosette. Next up is a quick flower, a button carnation, pointed daisy, a traditional crochet flower. Next one up is a caperia, button daisy, open flower and a small orchid. Now if you hear me laughing throughout this, this is me trying to get my tongue around the words that the patterns are called for. Right, our next one is an orchid this one here then there is a periwinkle a cluster flower and a peacock daisy we have a large gabiria a damask rose a long star flower and a blossom on this page it is a simple Peacock flower, a four petal flower, a five petal flower, and an eight petal flower. Then we have a large cluster flower, a button, a gabiria, a hellebore, and a traditional crochet a rose. Next one up is a sunflower, Irish crochet leaf, a four leaf spring, and a fern leaf nice that she's covering leaves as well as the flowers in this we have a, a peacock leaf the puff stitch flower 
simple loop flower and a six petal flower. Then there is a, a carnation. Oh no, here we go. A chrysanthemum. Yes, I did it. <laughs> Sorry, that is one of them words for me. One of them words. And here you can see a really beautiful image of the one of the flowers in this set being used as a bit of a daisy chain. Then on the back page here, we have our acknowledgements and about the author. Now it does say here that she has her very own website, which is www.clairecrumpton.co.uk. I will write that on the screen here. Okay, and there we go. And that is the end of this book. Now, next up, we have the Fairy Tale Crochet Collection by Rico Design. Okay, it's a step by step guide, a yarn inspiration, and a little more. All right, so let's dig into this one. Oh, isn't that a cute hat? Right. Here is uh, what is available in the book. So we have the pattern for that really cute hat, some little shoes, a jumper, a blanket, a dragon, some more little shoes, another blanket, which is a granny square blanket. Then we have some unicorns and some teething toys. All right, so uh, let's have a nose. All right, so we have, of course, some lovely information about Rico and the designs. Then we have the Little Knight's helmet. There we go. And all the instructions on how to do that. We have a half moon teething ring. The magical mermaid blanket. And in that you have the instructions on how to make the granny squares, the main blanket, and of course the attachments as well. Oh, I'm just trying to find the next pattern. There we go. The next one is Emerald Stripes Jumper. And again, all details are there. Now on this page, it is about um, fairy tale fantasy. So they're showing you different places where you can buy other items that you think your little prince or princess would like. Next up is Cheeky uh, George the Dragon. Now he looks like quite a nice a large amigurumi pattern to make. And the pattern itself is extremely detailed. Right, then we have the uh, colourful uh, granny. You can't beat a classic granny square blanket. Now, of course, we all know there is a lot of granny blanket styles of blanket out there. Quite a few of them are already on YouTube. That'll make it a little bit easier to search out if it's a pattern that you like. Right, then we have the Fairy Princess Slippers. Now these are little ones um, with little roses popped on the front there. And the design itself is quite nice and simple. Then we have a section here called Pattern Picks um, where you're getting inspired to buy some of the Rico's latest baby crochet patterns. So here is other designs that you can purchase through um, Rico by Designs. Now this book was actually an add-on to the Crochet Now books. Which bit? Oh, I've got so many of these now. Right, then the next pattern up is of course the Magical a Unicorn. And it's really nicely written and very simple to follow. Now we have um, a Rico, a baby classic DK range, and it shows all the different colours that are available at time of printing. Doo -doo -doo. And some more. Yeah, definitely some more. And some more. They've got quite a lot. Now this is for the Aragurumi cotton. It is 100% cotton. And this is um, 25, was it 58 meters per 25 grams. So they're running little small balls that um, you would be purchasing. All right, last page up is our abbreviations and tips for crocheting for babies. So hopefully that will cover any safety issues that you would need to consider when making your project. 
so and that is it that is uh, those two books and a quick look through it wasn't a very big video but they're not very very big books and um, remember these are only add-ons to magazines that you can purchase in the uk and sometimes online all details of the crochet now books will be in the description box down below and any links to these books or very similar books will also be in the description box down below so i'm going to head off now and get on with some crocheting for a change so i will see you all really really soon if you can please stay in and definitely stay safe to our for now everyone